Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3. I thought we'd start here from the menu since we're in a chase against a murderer. Who's killed poor Cecilia? Um, so yeah, a rooftop chase um, is, is what we're going to leap into. Ah, um, so hope you're all well. Thank you for joining. And Toy yeah. the door. Made a platform. Clever. Must be pretty strong too. So not up here. Um, must have climbed this ladder. Uh, thank you for pointing that out. I would have missed it. And of course we're in fancy clothes. Could still be here. Need to stay alert. It was the robber. <laughs> the murderer robbed. Blood stains. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't us. Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Precious stone. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace? Seems there was a struggle. Jewelry box. Locks busted. Picked open, probably. Because it was a thief. Murderer. You think you'd do one or the other, wouldn't you? An ornate shield's in there. Evil, but it's not what he came for. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out, fall out. So that's not where we're going to go. Locked. No key in sight. Okay, so it must have gone out the window. Canvas is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Weird. An awful lot seems to have happened here then. Yeah, thank you. Smashed mirror. Someone crashed into it hard and sank to the floor. Hmm. Is there really more? Surely that's it, right? Oh. Ah. No, does it get, get the, the the dagger? Hunting knife. Richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. There you go. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here. But I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. 
I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. Mm. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it many years ago from a young woman. I'm keeping it apparently. <laughs> apparently it's mine along with the other stuff that I took. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntime. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Duntime. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir. Roderick returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Oriana. Everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. We need to have a conversation about her. Something's not quite right, I think. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. You were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. 
They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Sienna. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Sianna knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather possessive. Throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Sianna received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen, or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Duntine. And if Sianna is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. Uh, <clears throat> well, um, uh, um, mm. we don't normally make promises like that, do we? But this is a queen <laughs> asking us for something, so. Uh, you know. Yeah, all right. We'll we'll. Okay. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her, sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt. I'd like to introduce Regis. What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Beauclair, and this is. Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Erite, an <laughs> arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the witch's hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. Hmm. Literally ages. Yeah, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. So, in modern society, the word literally is uh, misused to mean, like, really? Like, it was, like, literally ages? It's not literally ages, is it? It's like an hour. Um, but in this, I imagine the word literally does literally mean literal as in yeah it, it actually is <laughs> um so interesting still yeah we're, we're friends few i can rely on like i can on regis kind of hoping he thinks the same of me curious it seems opposites really do attract don't be fooled dear Geralt has many merits he merely hides them from the world very diligently mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. 
Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe to toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. But what might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trait for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazair. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Wanna help Regis? Know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. What an interesting scene. What an amazing an dynamic. Conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are going to watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renna. Yeah, so Detloff will want to kill... Um... And it's a sister, and sh and she wants me to keep her alive, and I think that's where the confrontation is going to happen, right? That's 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 the that's what that's the choice I think. Um, guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we saw birds in the cutscenes. Yeah. Oriana, is she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. Indeed. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely something going on there. Literally ages before when we've met each other a long time. Um, I go, so. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntime Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with- No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Detloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detloff. Good luck, my friend. Splendidly, Detloff. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out?
You have exceptional friends. This Detlap, an intriguing man to say the least. So we've never met Detlaf before. We don't know who he is. <clears throat> don't know him too well. Mm -hmm. Can he say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive. Sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count Lacroix's mill. It stands along the San Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Not gonna argue. At midnight, it's 4 a.m. Okay, so we're gonna do the next day. All right. All right then. How shall we spend the day? Getting properly dressed again? We look ridiculous. Oh yeah, small levels, small points to spend on things. Should we have a little look at that? Like real quick. Have a little Have a little look at what we've got in here. Uh <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we've got all this um stuff and things and oh boy. Um yeah, I'm already like actually now. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's a lot of things and stuff, awful lot of things and stuff. Um, should we have more? Like, I know there's the there's this as well. Okay, so each fatal blow dealt with a sword dismembers the enemy or, or activates the finisher. Each blow dealt by the weapon in melee combat increases attack power by 5% until combat ends to a maximum of 250%. The bonus is lost if you take damage. Oh, yeah. That was good until that bit. But I guess that leads on to other things like crossbow damage. Um. Hmm, okay. So I wonder with this one whether I need this and this or whether it just um, unlocks if I just get like say this and then that. Um, Alright, when the ad sign is cast it uh, additionally has 30% more chance of freezing enemies. This chance scales with your available adrenaline points. Enemies knocked down and frozen die immediately. Enemies who, uh, who are not frozen deal additional 3,120 damage. Um, right, so we're gonna. I'll, I'll go with that. Have I got this one? I have, okay. Have I. Have I. Hmm. Okay, so now I've acti activated this one rather than this one. Let's see if we can get two more greater blue mut mutagens. That's uh, that's kind of what we need the most, isn't it? And that would be because uh, I, I think we've got we can do it. I just need to figure out how. Uh, is it in? It's in crafting, surely. Surely it's in crafting. Um, not in crafting. I can't remember where it is. It's been a while. No, it's not in crafting. It's got to be in... Uh, 
I uh, can't remember. Description size, space activate. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really remember. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, you'd think it would be in crafting, really, wouldn't you? Like, just, just taking a kind of meta look at it, you'd think maybe... Oh, alchemy! There we go. There it is. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I need... Oh, yeah, that. But I need that. But I need... <laughs> that. Oh, but I need... Booze. Okay, hang on, wait a minute. So I need this. This is why I freaking hate crafting. Oop. So now I need green mold. Oh, wait. Yeah. So I can't. I think I, sc I, I think I screwed up anyway somehow. I'm sure I made some more of them. Oh, well. Never mind. Yeah, crafting. Oh, I need this, but I need that. But I need that, but I need that. But I need this, but I need that. But I need strips of leather. Really doesn't interest me at all. Such a contrived trope of gaming these days. Right then. There you are. Right in front of me. I don't know how I missed you. Let's go home. And see where we're supposed to go. So, yeah, the Cockatrice Inn, that's where we kind of started our adventure, isn't it? Um, and there's Bianco. Okay, nice. Now, should we go home, or is there something else we can do in the meantime? I'm just aware that Geralt hasn't slept in, like, two days. This is quite important, so maybe we should get a little bit of a R&R. &R. Um, but, you know. Prove my wisdom. Um, Alright, well, let's see what this is. Ooh, well, it's kind of a uh, long way away. It's a bit, maybe too far. Um... Wait a week. Auction. Oh, that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, still, still, still way away. Hmm. Uh, quest. Okay, there's nothing really pressing, so I guess I will just head back, spend the day there, and then I don't want to go too far north in case I blunder into the place that I'm supposed to go. So we'll get here, yeah. Slower. Spend the day. I, I think I think he, he's you know he's, he's had long. It's been last couple of episodes have just been like one continuous thing to do, and you know while there's nothing in the game to tell us that he's. Um, tired, and he, you know, there's probably a law reason for him not to be tired as well. I think he would be. <laughs> I think he'll just be just the, just the mental strain. He hasn't really got to meditate or anything. So, um, so let's give him a bit of bit of rest, and he can he can go and tend to his vineyard and collect some herbs from his garden, and 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 then we can blow my castle at midnight. We got the day free. How would you best spend that, you know? Exerting yourself at some side quest or mentally and physically preparing? I think it'll be the latter. Let's 
So even though it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, we're going to spend it inside in our room. <laughs> sounds a lot like me, to be fair. <clears throat> and we need to go up here because I'm following the wrong thing. Uh, we can, we kind of we, we haven't really messed up entirely. Come on, Roach. But this is it, isn't it? I know what I'm doing. I for daughter, you know. <laughs> She's fit to wed. <laughs> All right, so you can get some rest Come in this super awesome stable, apparently. Again, a bit disappointed with it. At least that guy is actually working rather than sleeping for once. Bit of an early morning for him. So we'll put our armor back on, I think. That's probably wise. No, I don't want to... Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't care. Thank you. Um, I wonder if we could put these on a... On a mannequin. We probably... We've got other things to... Pop here, there, and... Anyway. Yeah, okay. That's better. Yeah, we'll put we'll put put that there. Yeah, it's, it's a nice suit. I don't want to get to um, don't want to get it priest, do we? All right, anywhere we can hang paintings. I have a lot of paintings to hang. I'll just put the same one up again. <laughs> I wish they were the same size. Um, I mean, the, the colors match. <laughs> this is important gameplay. <laughs> yep, yeah, we'll put that there. That's for our guests. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's just rest for like... Well, like I said, we can go to the garden. Get some herbs. Which is like... Uh, is it around here somewhere? Down here, isn't it? Yeah. Bread adds a spring to your step. Wine adorns your head with horns. Why we made this, isn't it? So we could collect it all. We'll spend a couple hours in the garden collecting herbs. So, how do you like it here? It's all right, I suppose. It's fine. You like that kind of thing? <coughs> yeah, it's all right. All right. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll we'll just continue the main quest. Seems wise. So we're not really like sleeping this entire time, but we know we pick some herbs. We talk to our um, employees, let's say. Could even, I guess. Put some of these on here. What have we got? Like Yerden, Igni. I only do like greater ones. Axi. So I use all these. Leave the boots, I think. Well, no, Agni's good. <clears throat> so, yeah, I wonder if we can make another Igni. Uh, 
Um, no, I can't make those ones. All right. Oh, yeah. We can upgrade Iris as well. So Iris, 50% attack power versus humans and non-humans. Okay. So we can add... I like staggering. We, we do the... Um, the yeah, we'll do armor piercing. What else does it do? So it hasn't got a lot else with it. So I think armor piercing will probably be nice. Especially since it's against humans and they often wear armor. Dagger, 5%, 5%. So again, if we go into crafting, let's just see. We've got all these. So there's another stagger. There's more armor piercing. We can do like 90 armor piercing, which I think will be pretty sweet. We've already got sign intensity for it. Yeah, let's just let's just go the whole uh, route for this, I think. Only blacksmiths can forge weapons and armors. Okay. <clears throat> so won't bother then. Right. 9.03 p.m. And we're headed... Um, main quest. Oh, there. Yeah, it's, it's the... Um, it's the inn. That's not far away. It's only there. Okay. So we've got three hours to get there. We'll be fine. We just don't want to be late, do we? Um, also around here somewhere, there's... Yeah, this. Where is it? There. Um, and I've lost my horse. Apart from that, it's going... It's going great. Actually, I'll just go out here and whistle. Come on. No torch. Hey there. No. Okay, fine. Fine. Get up. Oh, I just drank something. God's sakes, I wanted there. Uh, I don't know what I've just drunk. Don't think it was anything important. Uh, we need to go uh, the, 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 this way. Okay. Move it. <laughs> put the put the sod away. Put the put the sod away. Put the sod away. <laughs> go the wrong way. Mind your head. Okay, this path. Okay, right, okay. Hmm. What's the difference here? Like, escape then. Slow now. Hmm. All right, because of that, I might call it here and ask you guys if there's anything I should do before doing this. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's been 40 minutes, so yeah, quite kind of a short episode, but I, I am keen to do this for role playing purposes, but at the same time it's like, oh, well, you, you know, you shouldn't do this until you do like the whatever quest. Um, otherwise you kind of miss out as a player. Then I'm willing to, to break character if you like, cause it didn't say which midnight you think it would be the next one, but I don't I don't know if it matters. So we'll leave it there. And I'm gonna ask your guidance if there's anything I should do before we do this quest. Um it's just one of the downsides of LP. I don't have direct um input like that, so I gotta wait. So yeah, let me know. Um and hopefully I will see you uh well, I will. I'll see you uh on Wednesday, Thursday, whenever I upload again. Looking forward to your input then, guys. Um, thank you very much, and until then, see you later. Take care. Toodaloo.